people do treat us differently. Children stare at me on the train, and I can hear children sometimes saying, like, ah, I don't know, no still. May 25th, George Floyd, an unarmed black man. He was at a convenience store and he tried to buy a pack of cigarettes using a $20 bill. The store worker thought the $20 bill that he was using was a fake bill, so he called the police. 17 minutes after the police arrived on the scene, he was on the ground. George Floyd was killed by a Minnesota Department police officer. Another black man who was killed by police Currently in America, we're dealing with one of the most apparent racial justice and social issues taking place. Thousands of people peacefully walking through the streets for eight hours. We have nonviolent protests turning into violent protests. The main officer was charged to second degree murder. It literally has taken days of protesting and rioting before any real action has taken. Being a black man in Japan, I was there for two years. I didn't feel persecution. There was definitely a culture of outsidership. I was stopped in Rapongi and I was searched. And of course, when we asked them what the reason was, they said it was a random search. I've been pulled over in a car on foot on a weekday before work on the way to school pretty much my entire time in Japan. Uh, there was another instance where I was riding my bicycle and I was headed home from the train station and a police officer on a moped followed me all the way home and he wanted to know where I got the bike. He wanted to see my paperwork and he wanted to know how I paid for it and everything. I don't think that they would have said the same things if it had been a Japanese woman or a Japanese salaryman or if it had been a Japanese person or anyone who wasn't black. I just, I just don't think they would have said that. To me, what it means is acknowledge our existence. People do treat us differently. Children stare at me on the trains, and I can hear children sometimes saying, like, ah, I don't know, no isto. We are people, and black lives matter. They aren't disposable. They aren't things that can just be taken and with no ramification. Black lives matter because every life matters. Humanity matters, and that's how we push forward as a human race. So I just really want Japan to really be responsible and educate themselves on black culture in general and black existence in Japan. It's not just an American issue, and it's not just a black issue, it's a human rights issue. I wanna see a world where my children don't have to fear for their life just for jogging, just for going outside, hanging out with their friends. I wanna see a world where all human life is truly valued. If you and I are capable of loving someone, living a life, having emotions, thoughts, and feelings, and just having an existence, no one, I believe, is greater or worse than the next person. I would like Japanese people to maybe sit next to me on the train. Treat uh, African-American people or black people in general the way you want to be treated.